Let's bring in former CIA official and radio host, Buck Sexton. I mean, I'm, Kamala probably fell for this. We're just basically waiting on confirmation, Buck. Jesse, Kamala was a big believer in the Jussie Smollett hoax, which, <laughs> which I know Fox Nation has done an excellent job yes. uh, expanding our knowledge of in just the last few days. Uh, but this is this is a reminder, I think, of a few things. I mean, one is the calculation that so many of these different politicians made. And, yeah, you pointed out this is not no one. No one's getting to be a millionaire because of these little treaties of, of friendship that are being signed. But the the tie always goes, if you will, to the the hoaxer in this case. I mean, a any chance mm -hmm. that a politician has to show that they're in good faith, you know, showing how multicultural and diverse they are, they're going to take that because even if they asked any questions, I think some of them would be worried. Oh, my gosh, you you don't know about uh, Kailasa? I keep, I keep trying to remember the name. You don't know about the wonderful nation of Kailasa? You must be some kind of a bigot, sir. Yeah, it's right next so to Wakanda. So this just shows you the calculations. <laughs> right. So when you, I mean, when you were an intel guy, and because this is probably more of a new threat, you're probably seeing in the intelligence community people pretending to be woke or people pretending to be victims or kind of ethnic espionage that appeal to uh, liberal uh, Americans or business leaders who don't want to be said to be bigoted. Do you think they're exploiting this? I mean, of course. I think that there's a massive industry in this country that we all see. I mean, how much do some of these diversity and inclusion lecturers get paid for each time they show up at a, at a corporate office or at some college or university. Um, there's a, an enormous amount of money that is being made by playing on uh, a sense of, of guilt that people have, uh, by playing to the victimology narrative. And I think even beyond that, the sense that we have to be... Inclusivity now means the exclusion of making any determinations, rational or otherwise, about what you're actually dealing with in some cases. And this is a perfect example of that. You want to be so inclusive that you can't actually be discerning in any meaningful way about whether a country exists. By the way, what does it say about some of these individuals? I mean, there was a lot, there were a lot of them. I mean, you pointed out they didn't even look at Google, but how many countries just sort of come up? You're like, I've never heard of that yeah. one. A city, <laughs> fine. Cities, there's a lot of them. But you right. know what? There's less than 200 countries, I think, in the world, so this shouldn't be that hard. Right. There might be some really small ones in Africa and Asia that maybe even I haven't heard of or I need a memory refresher. But you're right about they're not able to discern because they don't want to be judgmental. It's the same thing happening on our border, Buck. They don't want to say no. They just want to let everybody in because how dare they be discriminatory. All right. Thank you very much, Buck Sexton. Not a cult leader see that we know of. Nope. Not yet. Not yet. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.